Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 28 of the Leaco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, so yeah, so I have um, people. So I want to start out by saying that I have a Discord channel. Some of you might, yeah, I say that every, yeah, but they don't, might not know what um, it entails. And one of the, or two of the things that, that I think, um, you know, it is one of the proudest thing I've done um well online just in general like not like in my life that may be too much but just like on in terms of um discovering how to you know scale out helping people and so forth uh, and that is my goal with these channels right so uh, yeah so definitely check that out i think the two two major thing one is that um it is a place where a lot of the both good and and my, uh, people working on their way to become good um uh, on the contests uh, definitely, like we talk about the contest right afterwards. So if, yeah, if that's what you like to do, then um, check that out. Uh, we also have two different channels as well. Uh, one is um, a victories channel, and you know me. Uh, I I, ooh, I, 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 I say ooh because if you uh, spot this claim secret reward, you could click on it, and you get ten leak coins. Uh, I think I, someone told me that this works for everybody. So definitely let me know. But yeah, so the last contest, I um, I finished tenth, I think. Yeah, I finished tenth, which is great. Uh, but you know, I mean, I finished tenth sometimes. But it also puts my rank in three thousand. Yay! I don't know. It's just a small victory thing to kind of you know, uh, you have to celebrate your your incremental progresses. Uh, because the 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 road is long, as I said yesterday. So you know, you have to kind of take a break once in a while and just appreciate the scenery as you're there. But uh, so, and I, that's why I also have a channel for victories for kind of just like posting these things and get support and stuff like this. Um, and then the other one is like, um, we also, a, a lot of people post their daily po uh, problems here uh, on the Discord, so you can kind of check that out. Um, I think this would have been way more smarter if I had just like put the Discord thing on screen, but uh, maybe, maybe another day. But I just want to spam that a little bit because it is, like I said, it is something that I'm very happy about. There's a group of smart people there uh, and also me so yeah all right L let's take a look at today's poem 2958 length of the longest subway wave with at most k frequency uh, a lot of uploads only one download i think just and i don't know i don't remember this poem but just looking at 2958 right um and probably is a recent contest poem so we could kind of check it out later to see what, how i did during the contest because i don't remember this one but uh yeah you're given an integer array nums and an integer k. The frequency of element x is the number of times it occurs in an array. An array is called good if the frequency of each element in this array is um, less than or equal to k. Return the length of the good subarray. Okay, it's a little bit awkward that they kind of... Yeah, like maybe they should be consistent about subarrays like in here and here. But okay, fine. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I want to say that I remember this from the recent contest, but I really don't. But I would, but I would say that, um, I would say that I feel like I've seen this one before, even before that. So I don't know. I, uh, these forms are a little bit similar. But here, um, if you watch my video yesterday, and I do urge that you do, even if you have solved it, because yesterday was. Uh, sub array products less than k but i talk about this idea of thinking about sliding window right um and these sliding windows i think another way to think about these sliding windows is kind of the contribution and in this one of course the contribution is not the count but a max of the function right which is but otherwise is still the same idea is that okay let's say this is the last um this is the like let's okay let me actually do this ui uh, let me make this a little bit printer prettier. Let's say I'm doing something like this, and we're up to this pointer. Then you, the your question is, how far left can I go? Like, or if this is the last element in the supper, right? How far left can we go, and and such, right? And of course, like I said, it's just gonna be max over this because we want the longest overall. Um, so yeah, that's basically the idea. And there are a couple of ways you can do it, but um. Yeah, we just basically hit a frequency. Um, hmm, trying to think real quick. 
Yeah, because uh, there, there is... So there, there are really two ideas about this farm, right? There's the counting up and then counting down the frequency. And sometimes... Um, yeah, sometimes it, it, it can be a little bit tricky to differentiate which one you want. But for this one, I believe you can just count up. Uh, and we'll go over y in a second, right? So, okay, so then now for i in range of n, right? This is just, well, let me actually use the same language as yesterday. So if left is 0, 0, right is da 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 da, right? Um, and basically, we want left, right, both to be inclusive. Maybe not at the very beginning because we haven't processed this yet. And then, so here, we want to process this, and we process this by just incrementing the frequency counter, which is what we have here. Right, that's the kind of the current. We also need a best thing just to kind of keep track of the answer. But yeah, but then now we want to say uh, f of right, no, oh, sorry, f of num sub right, we increment, right, by one. And so I'm going to do this a little bit um, slow and deliberate because I want to make sure that the explanation is a little bit clear. But at this point, after this, what does this mean, right? That means that both left and right are now inclusively inside f. Right, everything between left and right index inclusively is enough, right? Um, and in this case, maybe we want to say, um, you know, for key in f, um, if f of k, oh, yeah, that's terrible because k is <laughs> k is the input, right? All right, if f of k is greater than k, then we have to, um, you know, do some stuff to lower it, right? So that's basically the idea, right? So, um, so over is equal to true, maybe, right? Um, but, uh, I mean, I, and I'm just writing this like this for now, because w one thing that you can observe, and th these are kind of what, what we talk about when we talk about invariants, uh, both loop invariants and just, you know, kind of preconditions after we go through. Um, so before this statement, what is the invariant, right? The invariant is that every f of key for any for key, um, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, how do I say this? Um, every key for all key in F sub key, something like this in F, uh, uh, is less than or equal to K, right? So that's the invariant that we have at this point. Um, after this, this changes, so we have to check again. Um, so one way to check it, like I said, is to check everything, but only one thing changed, right? So we only need to check this is what uh, is the idea. And th that is very critical for this particular problem because uh, what is the size of f, right? Well, f can, because the numbers of i can be a lot of different numbers, f can have n numbers. So if you kind of just do it this way, in fact, this would be an O of n loop for obvious reasons, but this would also be an O of n loop, and this would be n squared. And n squared where n is 10 to the fifth will make it 10 to the 10, which is way too slow on lead code. So, but because of this observation, uh, now we can say that uh, we just check one thing. That's what I wanted to say. Right, so do, 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 right. If this is greater than k, and really it can only be k plus one if it's greater than k because of um, intermediate value theorem or something like this. One of those things I forget which the discrete version I I suppose. Um, so if this is the case, then and we want to subtract something from the left. We want to shrink the left in a sliding window kind of way. Um, so then now we want to do, 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 do right subtract by one, right? And then now we can check again, uh, because after this, what if, well, there are only two cases, right? Is if num sub left is equal to num sub right, or if they're not, if they're not, then it doesn't change. If they are, then that does change. But either way, uh, well, so we can just, you know, just do this thing with a loop. Uh, oh, so we have to increment, I forgot, right? And that's basically the idea. And then after this, what happens? Well. Because this is the only place where um, f sub num sub right is greater than k, this is also true again, right? So yeah. Uh, and then now we try, so then now that this is true, we have, that means that the longest sub array is going to be left and right, and that's basically the idea. Uh, right minus left plus one. How many elements are between right and left inclusive? Well, it's this one. So that, or, or this formula, you can count it. I mean, it, it's very, uh, relatively basic math, so I'm not going to go with two TP and also I think I went over it yesterday. And then that's pretty much it. We could give it a nice submit and we are Gucci. And apparently, well, 
I mean, that wasn't that long ago. That was like four months ago or so, right? So yeah. Uh, I, oh, I was in Taiwan at the time, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. don't know what that means. Let's take a look at that kind of problem. Uh, I guess my code is pretty much the same. <laughs> uh, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. But I'm, I'm curious how I did in this contest. Uh, that's why I'm just like clicking through real quick. I don't remember. Oh, that, that was the contest I did 11. Well, am I? Or oh, 19th, I suppose. And I did this problem in either two minutes. Nope. I did this problem in ah, I did this problem in one minute and twenty seconds. I guess you can look up that video. Uh, oh, this is the one with the with the boot force Q four. Huh, that was a while ago. Hmm. Those are the times. And Josh finished things like going that one. But yeah, um, what is the com sorry for side run. Uh, what is the complexity here, right? Um, the complexity here is going to be uh, O of n times to everything inside and of course there's a while loop here but this is the same thing as yesterday that we talked about in terms of analysis this is amortized um, and the, this number is limited by the number of times left can go uh, left can be incremented right and in this case if left is equal to right uh, plus one that means that everything in f is going to be zero so that means that this is going to be false no matter what because there's no elements inside. Um, so this will always terminate at, um, when left is greater than right. Um, so that, that means that left can only be incremented right number of times and right can only go up to n. So that means that it's going to be O of n plus O of n, which of course is O of 2 times n. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Apparently I did it very quickly in the contest. So um, yeah, I, I don't know what I was going to add for this one. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like this. Uh, join me on Discord. There's a bunch of people there, a bunch of good people. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.